So this is my Let's Play for Skyrim. And it's the first video in what will hopefully be a series that will last all the way up and through the third DLC, which will be called Dragonborn. It'll probably take me a little bit of time to reach the point where I'm ready to go off to see that content. So I think this will be my fifth or sixth character in Skyrim. My first character was a um, was a mage and went through blasting everything with uh, with fireballs. It was a lot of fun. My second character um, was a somewhat sneaky archer. And uh, my my third character was kind of a joke run, where I played. Um, so I saw this video on YouTube of somebody who had gone through Skyrim and had just used uh, his fists as the way of uh, of killing people. So I decided to do uh, do that run. It's kind of a joke run, or at least. It's not entirely unintended by Bethesda, as far as I can tell, because they do provide an enchantment that increases uh, unarmed damage, but it's certainly not heavily rewarded. In the, it, uh, it uses... Um, there's no skills tree for unarmed combat. So and it doesn't actually use the one-armed or uh, or or one-handed or two-handed weapons uh, skills. So pretty much late in game, you're gonna have a tough time doing enough damage. You can manage it if you really work on it, but it's it's a pretty weird way to play. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last. Um and so. One of the uh, one of the other things I did with the previous run was I did I played as a werewolf and that was uh, that was pretty cool. Except, um, at least with my first werewolf character, I didn't realize that you kind of have to play with if if you want to be successful, you want to play with a character that has spent their uh, their level up um, stat boost on health because if you spend it uh, if you spent it all on magicka you're not going to do particularly well as a werewolf you'll be very easy to kill it's not such a problem with um, vampire lord which is the other uh, addition to um, Skyrim that you get from the Dawnguard DLC vampire lords can do just as well with a magicka or a melee based uh, mode you're probably going to have more fun boosting uh, magicka though as a vampire lord, whereas as a um, werewolf, you're probably going to prefer the health. As for stamina, stamina is it's more useful for melee characters. Um, it's not particularly useful for mages, and it pretty much determines how special you want your attacks to be um, in the game. That if you're using weapon attacks, uh, like non-ranged weapon attacks, archers won't get a lot out of stamina. Uh, then uh, those cost stam uh, stamina to use. But um, but just basic attacks, they don't cost stamina. You're gonna do better with the shield if you have more stamina. And stamina also lets you run better and carry more, but otherwise I don't generally to spend any uh, I don't generally spend points in it. Now for this character, I, I'm planning to play a Khajiit for the first time. They're a, uh, a cat people. Now it actually would have been smarter to have played a Khajiit with my um, with my brawling character before. Wait, you 
But um, but instead, I, I think that character was an Argonian. They get a lesser bonus to unarmed uh, damage. But here, let's define my character. So I'll be a Khajiit. Let's do it as female. Let's take a look at these presets. That's neat. This is also neat. Let's go with this one. And the darker skin is neat. And let's go for a thinner character. Let's see what complexions. None of these look a lot like my cat. Well, my cats. Um, but that's okay. Um, let's see. He has some neat scars. Let's do a little bit of war paint. Kind of neat. Although the war paint doesn't really look that good on Kaji. Since they, they tend to have skin that's uh, less like. Like with the lighter skinned uh, races, uh, it's more like they're uh, they're a blank canvas. Whereas Kachi, they're already pretty decorated, just with their uh, their normal. Fur. Let's see, nose color. Be nice if I could change whisker colors, but that is not going to happen. Oh, maybe white there looks kind of neat. Okay, eyes. That looks kind of anxious. What other options do I have? Maybe wide? No, maybe not. Okay. Ooh. This this is pretty cool. With brow. Mouth. Um, let's see. Mouth shape. Oh, that's actually the mouth itself, not the chin. You can't really see it that well. Chin in, chin forward. Let's not mess with that too much. And hair is kind of weird for cats. Because ordinarily you think of cats as... Uh, well, could go with the ridiculous ears. And I guess real cats kind of tend to have a little bit of this. Can you actually... Oh, you can change that. Well, that is weird. Okay, that's good enough. Um, so Khajiit in the game tend to have um, tend to have. Well, let's let's see what can we put in here. Um, Joke there for those of us who like Indian food. Your kind always seems to find trouble. Captain. Tandori. She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your mates are returned to elsewhere. Follow the captain, prisoner. Yeah, so Kaji are not um they're not native to this part of uh, Tamriel, which is, I think, the continent on which this game takes place. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a so, th hero. so those are actually the two main leaders who are fighting over um, uh, who are fighting uh, over this this patch of land that's that's covered in the game called Skyrim. So there's General Tullius on the right. And there's uh, Jarl Ulfric uh, Stormcloak on the left, and Jarl is uh, just a. Um, I believe that it was a Norse word that uh, that often got translated as Earl. So, uh, so, like in the United Kingdom, you heard about the Earl of uh, Dunchester, uh, Dunchester or some other uh, place. Uh, Jarl is pretty much the same thing. And so later on in the game, uh, I am going to probably be joining the um, the side of the Empire. Uh, because you have a lot of choices in this game. It's kind of an open world environment. And 
you don't have to join either side, but you probably will. And I sympathize more with the Empire, largely because um, the Stormcloaks, they're a local rebellion uh, that's uh, attempting to withdraw from the Empire that controls the, uh, or that used to control the, the whole continent. And um, and they they're pretty racist. They believe that the local uh, human race that mostly lives in Skyrim, uh, the Nords, uh, are the people who should own uh, this uh, this part of Tamriel. Uh, the Empire is um, is not racist, although a lot of the pro uh, the ethical problems that come from its side come from them be, uh, so they were almost conquered by this uh, by this race of elves uh, the high elves well I, I mean not by the race but by uh, by the governments of, uh, of the high elves uh, called the Thalmor here I'm running in to get some shelter from the dragon that just uh, interrupted the execution I will run up here. Whoa. Get killed too early, so let's hop down. Oof. Oh. And so the uh, the Thalmor have forced the Empire to, uh, to uh, agree, uh, agreements that have uh, banned worship of one of the main gods in, the, in their pantheon. Stay close to the wall. And they're also generally pretty racist uh, against anyone who isn't a high elf. Although they have also been known to kill high elves who don't agree with the Thalmor. But in the middle of the Civil War, uh, dragons have wandered in. Oh, and you can see a lot of people actually have uh, have magical abilities in, in this world. It's not particularly uncommon, although I imagine real mastery is kind of rare. Also, yeah, I'll, I'll probably be, uh, be joining the Empire later on. Dash in here, and then I will see you all in the next video.